So the question is this, why are my thyroid hormones not working? I've seen people that are on Synthroid for 20 years. They're still tired, they're still fat, it's not working. The doctors are saying, well, keep taking it because maybe if you didn't take it, you would get even bigger. And then also, why could you have all the thyroid symptoms, yet nothing shows up in a blood test? Why is that? Well, that is because the problem is not in the thyroid. So when you solve the wrong problem, especially if you're taking thyroid medication and it's not working, you won't see change. So just realize you have to think outside the box and look at other possibilities. There is two common problems that are underneath thyroid issues that are very, 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 um, I guess, unknown. Number one, it's a situation where you have low bile, B-I-L-E, that interferes with the uh, conversion through the liver. In other words, bile is the detergent that breaks down the grease and helps you digest fats. It's made by the liver, it's stored in the gallbladder, and it comes right through. And so the thyroid inactive hormone called T4, that's the inactive version, uh, converts from, to a T3, which is right here, with the help of bile. So without enough bile, let's say you're bloated and you have constipation or you had the, thyro uh, the gallbladder removed, or you have a sluggish liver, or you have right shoulder pain, or headaches, whatever, all those are indications of low bile, chances are you're not converting this situation. So this is what you need to strengthen, not the thyroid. And then all of a sudden it starts working. Okay, then the other situation is an ovary that's per producing too much estrogen. Why? Because when you spike the estrogen, you shut that thyroid thing down, and then what happens, you treat the symptom, which is the thyroid, and you don't see any change because the real problem is deeper. Now, why don't the doctors look at this? Because it's very difficult to detect it on testing, and it's, these are called subclinical. They don't show up. So you really have to use symptoms to figure it out. I mean, my whole thing is, hey, if you took some bile salts or you took something to kind of help the ovary and you get better, I don't need to do a test. We know that was it. I mean, I don't have to wait for it to show up on some liver enzyme test or some other blood test because a lot of these problems don't show up on blood tests till they're very, very, very advanced, okay? So I'm just trying to increase your viewpoint on um, everything um, works together and the thyroid is usually a secondary problem to these other two situations.